Hello there. Today we are going to enter in Dinosaurus Age. See, something is coming out of the jungle. What is this? This is a dinosaur skeleton. See how slowly it is moving as if searching something. And see the tail. It swing left and right. Wow. Do you like it? But you cannot buy it from a shop. You have to make your own. So let's make it. First we'll make the walking mechanism. Then the tail, then the neck and the head, and then the body part. First, let's make the walking mechanism. For this, you need an ordinary servo motor. Open it and disconnect the control circuit. You'll get two wires from the motor. Just take it out and power it. You can see a free rotation like this. You need an iron wire to make a shaft. Put a small piece of refill pipe there, like this, and put more glue and pass it through the shaft and glue it there. Thus this side is stick firmly with the motor drive, other side it is just passing through a free hole. Now on the top you have to glue a gel pen refill and then pass another iron wire to make a static shaft like this. Now the motor shaft you have to bend like a bicycle paddle. This is a 5 mm bend like this. Now to make the legs, you need aluminum seats. Just cut the two seats like this. It has one slot and two holes. The dimensions are given here. Now stick a small piece of pipe at the first corner of the motor shaft. Then pass the leg. The hole should be connected with the motor shaft. Whether the static shaft should pass through the slot. On the both the end, put some refill pipe again and glue it so that it cannot come out. You have to connect both the legs and now give it 3 volt power. You can see both the legs are moving. Now you have to make the feet. For that, you bend aluminum wires like this. Here are the dimensions. And you have to make two feet. Once done, connect these two feet with the legs bottommost hole with screw and nut. You have to tightly fit it in such a way that after fitting it can stand on a single leg. Now we are going to make two little small finger like this. Just connect these two with the screw again and then for testing power it up with a battery. It will slowly moving like this. Now we will make the tail mechanism. For this you need to cut four pieces of plastics dimensions are given on the screen for each part you have to drill two holes now you need three pins pass each pin through every one part and glue the other side fit all the four parts one by one like a train like this and then use some glue stick of hot glue gun and prick it through the pin so that these tail parts doesn't come apart. Cut the extra length of the pin. Now you need some beads. For each part you have to glue two beads. Once done you need string or wire. Pass the string through one side of the beads. Similarly do for the other side of the bits. Now you have two strings. Make the trail straight and you have to now stick some stoppers. So cut some small piece of plastic and glue it about 2 mm apart from the front part. Like that glue three stoppers. If you pull the left side string the tail will bend left side if you pull the right side it will bend to the right side we'll glue these three piece of plastics to make a triangular frame of the body like this now at the one end drill a hole and screw the tail put some glue to fix it firmly there now i have removed all the color from the beads and use some thinner wire now we are going to tie with, with the top part of the leg. 
so if you power up you can see the top part is moving forward and backward when it is in extreme forward position pull the left side wire tightly so that the tail bended and tie it there now move the other leg to the forward position and pull the other wire so that the tail bends to the right side and tie it now if you power up it is moving from left to right now you're going to make the head and the neck part draw this on top of the plastic sheet and cut it after you cut it stick some plastic sheets on every flat side the top the side and the front once done cut the extra edges and file all the extra edges to make it smooth and give it a 3d structure like this now we are going to make the lower jaw the same way make the lower jaw make some teeth once both the part of the head done we are going to fit this using a pin joint so make some drills on both the side and use two pins to fix this two part like that the head part is ready now we will take 6 mm long plastic and glue some small piece, piece of plastics with this part to make the neck part first make the structure like this and then use cutter, knife and files to give it a bone like structure like this once this long neck is ready stick it with the head like this once done this part we are going to fit with the body so at the body make a drill and use a pin to stick it with the body this part should move freely so other side put a refill so that the pin doesn't come out and this pin joint should move freely now one end make a hole and using a safety pin wire connect it with another top part of the leg now if the leg is moving you can see the neck is moving left and right now use small piece of plastics to make the bone structure make two arch on the top of the body like this and this is how the full body is ready we are going to connect a small switch and a 3.7 volt battery in series with the motor once done if you power it up see the dinosaur is moving it is working see how coolly it is moving See the long tail is moving. Let's play with this. Wow, it's coming towards some animals. Say, hey, run away. Oh, it hit the tiger. My God, it ate the tiger. It's moving with the tiger. It's taking the tiger away. Oh, where is the tiger? I think it ate it. Wow. Now, where it's going? Oh, my God, it's going to a palace. So, I lost in my childhood. Let's play with this, enjoy, make your own, hope you like it. Uh, I think now the dinosaur is moving back to the forest. Thanks for watching. Bye.